City, over 75,000 students apply to more than 800 high school programs. The New York City Department of Education works year-round to support students and families in the process of choosing the best schools for them. In 2013, the Office of Student Enrollment and the Office of Innovation, the iZone, partnered with the Public Policy Lab to prototype a new approach to enhancing the choice experience. To start, DOE staff and the Public Policy Lab's design team explored the admissions process through the experiences of students, families, administrative staff, and policymakers, identifying common needs and challenges. Right now, families have access to lots of information. Research in schools is a bit overwhelming. It was very stressful, especially when they hand you that book. The book is like this thick. It's kind of like confusing sometimes, and it's like a lot of different choices. We can serve between about 75 and 80,000 eighth graders that are eligible to participate in the process across the city. I think inherent in the size of it comes enormous amount of options. So our main goal was to understand how people are experiencing the high school admissions process now. We met with policymakers at the Department of Education. We met with guidance counselors and parent coordinators and students in schools. And we also had some interviews with families and kids in their homes. We were able to identify four needs that we think all the participants in the process share. And based on those needs, we made a series of recommendations to the Department of Education about how they could develop new tools or communications or services by interacting with those users of their service. So the idea behind the school choice design charrette was to take what we've learned in the iZone about user-centered design and crowdsourcing to uh, partners that we haven't worked a lot with before to come up with new approaches and new supports to help middle school families and kids who are embarking on the high school choice process. Is that something you want to search by, like schools that have basketball or could it go as work on It's really interesting to see 7th, 8th, even ninth graders and their parents participate in this process. One of the benefits of participatory design is that they think about things that we won't. We reached out to people who engage with choice more generally. So we have companies that help people choose colleges, companies that work on data visualization, companies that do consumer product shopping. They've been working for about a month and this is their first time in front of users to test the hypotheses that they've built into their software. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? And they'll take the information from today, they'll go back and work some more, and then the big unveiling for the applications will be on November 12th. I felt my feedback was listened to. I saw them making notes, and I saw them making notes when my son gave his interview also. I thought the experience was cool because it's not so often you get to talk to uh, developers that are actually trying to do something that really makes something easier. I think the more that parents and the DOE and the students are involved together, the easier everything goes. The software developers become more knowledgeable about how to serve our families. Our families become more knowledgeable about the options as a result of working with the software that's developed. And it's great for the department because it widens the circle of collaborators. So we're very excited about engaging in this process with other offices inside the DOE. Over the eight-week design process, six new digital tools were created. These will be available for public use through spring 2015. The Office of Student Enrollment and the iZone are continuing their work to make the high school choice experience easier to navigate and more engaging for all students and their families.